कैंसर एक ऐसा शब्द अ वर्ड विच हैज डिवास्टेटेड मेनी लाइफ एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर डिजीज इज स्प्रेडिंग इट्स क्लॉज अक्रॉस द ग्लोब एज बायो प्रोफेशनल्स अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आस्क मी हाउ कैन वी मेक अ करियर इन कैंसर रिसर्च so today i'm going to make a end to end video to show you the right direction how can you become a cancer research in india or abroad globally and which are the top organizations in india top 35 organizations in india who are doing research in cancer within india i will also show you why cancer research is going to grow in this uh, next decade and why you must be ready with the right skill set to invest into your career because cancer is growing and so is cancer research if you are the researcher who nails the coffin of cancer you will be the most sought after researcher in this world so today let's get started with the topic cancer research let's get started all right welcome back so i'll start with the cancer red alert and as you can see here on your screens this is the graph which i have drawn which shows how cancer is growing okay so this is in million okay and this side is the year in 2018 there were around 10 million cases that means more than a crore people were infected infect, impacted by cancer now by the time we will touch 2030 this would have crossed around 25 million okay so this means that it is going to not just double probably triple because of uv rays entering the earth atmosphere because of the modern lifestyle and various other reasons but we will today focus on not just the reasons but also on cancer research so now as you i can show you the cancer red alert it is growing it is going to become two fold two fold and please know this cancer is not a disease which impacts only the rich if you think so it is not correct it impacts rich as well as poor in the same way so if you think that it will not impact us at any moment in time anyone among us can be a victim of cancer so it is wise today to invest your conscience and your efforts into cancer research now cancer research saves lives okay now what exactly happens with cancer research you should know cancer research is divided into four types okay the first is basic research now what happens in basic research under basic research you do research at the cellular and the molecular level at the genetic level now the next one which is there is translational research now what's happening in translational research it happens through the techniques through which we can save ourselves from cancer so if basic research does the research on the reasons translation research looks for the solutions okay now the third one is a clinical research after you have found a cure or if you have found a medicine or a drug or a molecule or a moiety you need to check its efficacy efficiency and lethality in the human body and that is where clinical research cancer research clinical research will come into picture and the fourth one is population research now what is population research now epidemiology where exactly which parts of the world cancer is spreading how fast it is spreading and how can we control it so this is where the government comes into picture okay government you know invest a lot in in fact government invest a lot in all this and now that i have told you there are, there are four types of con, uh, cancer research let us move on and see which are the top 35 research labs in our country now i cannot name all of them but quickly i will name top 4 of them 
The first one is ACTREC, which is in Mumbai. The second one is AIMS, which is in Delhi. So Mumbai, Delhi. Third one is ACRC, which is in Trichur, Kerala. And the fourth one is in Maharashtra. It is called as CCE. Okay. So these are the four major places where cancer research is going. Apart from that, there are 31 more cancer research organizations whose names I will now display on the screen. So now as you can see, these are the top 35 cancer research institutions where cancer research is going on. Now coming to another aspect of cancer research. Now let us look at this. If cancer is growing, so is the investment into research on cancer. Now which are the funding agencies? First number one is government. All across the world, government is spend, going to spend and is already spending billions of dollars on cancer research. The second is private companies. Okay, So private companies are also working on cancer. A lot of startups are there in cancer. Okay, And the third is various self-funded labs who are also working, which are working through the donations from the rich billionaires. Okay, So there are three types of research which is going on. Pharma as well as biotech companies are doing research. But now let me show you what is going to happen in the near future. So as you can see in this graph, this is 2018, this is 2022 and this is in billions of dollars. Okay, So this is in billions of dollars. Now what is happening? 2018, it was less up to 2022 it has been less but now i am showing a growth in research investment in cancer why it will grow i will give you an example let's go back in history and think about the iphone imagine that the iphone came in 2006 and before that there was no real smartphone so the investment into smartphones was nil Correct. But as soon as iPhone came and the touch screen technology came, other companies learned it and that is where it grew. So what I'm showing in the graph is the iPhone moment of biological research in cancer. Yes, you heard me right. The iPhone moment of biological research in cancer has come. And the name of that iPhone of biological research is CRISPR. CRISPR has got great promises. Now why CRISPR? Let us look at that. So CRISPR is cheaper. Okay. Unlike other cancer research uh, requirements, this is cheaper. It is much more customizable. You can customize to hit only one gene. The third, it is much more precise. You can go and cut a particular gene because cancer happens because of mostly because of mutations in the genetic level. So you can go and cut the DNA at a precise level. So it is cheaper. It is customizable. It is precise. The third thing, fourth thing, it is faster. You can do it faster. So this is the speed. And the fifth one, it is scalable. You cannot just do the editing of the DNA in one particular cell, one particular, particular nucleus. You can do it in multiple cells. Now, as we know, cancer uh, is known, about, known for its malignancy. So it grows faster. So if it is growing faster, you need to go and edit the gene of all the growing cells, right? At a faster pace. And that is what it does. So these are the five benefits because of which I say that the iPhone moment of biological research has come and we call it as the game changer CRISPR. Now this particular CRISPR is going to help you build better tools in the future for cancer gene editing and that is the reason Biotechnica is coming up with CRISPR research internship and we are conducting a virtual intern internship online for all those students who cannot come to Bangalore and if you are in Bangalore and if you want to come down to Bangalore and have a hands-on experience on CRISPR you can do so. Remember the future of cancer research depends solely on this technique. 
and many more techniques which will be built on the top of it. It's like if iPhone was not there, do you think any apps would have existed? Because no other Android or any other smartphone would have been created. So this is the iPhone moment of biological research. Now moving ahead. The next part which I would like to take up is career in cancer research. So how do you make it? Now let us assume that right now you're doing your undergraduation or graduation. That means B BSc or bachelor's or maybe you are in the MSc. So first thing you can do is you can do a PhD in cancer research. You can do via self-funded or fellowship based research. So you can after doing that you can get into cancer research companies or cancer research labs. Okay. The next thing which you can do is postdoc. Okay. So in postdoc also after doing postdoc also you can get into cancer research companies as well as cancer research labs. Okay. So this is one benefit you get. The next is what are the skills you'll require? So the most important skill you'll require is critical thinking. Now, if your critical thinking is not up to the mark, your research aptitude is not up to the mark, you will not be able to combine two or three therapies and come up with a better therapy for cancer. Okay, so you need a lot of critical thinking here okay because you're going to edit the gene so you need to be aware of the downside and the upside and the accuracy and the speed and the uh, economics of this particular technology so you need critical thinking the next is communication yes without being able to collaborate with other researchers if you think that you can succeed in life that's not the truth you will have to communicate with others okay and sadly, in our society, communication is always not looked as an important skill set. But in a company, in a lab, in a team, communication is everything. Because due to communication only, your teamwork will improve. Okay. The next is analysis, the analytical power to be able to in, in decipher and interpret data. Okay. So, because if the data is not on your side, then you cannot justify your research. If the data is not in your favor, then you cannot succeed in your research. So you need to be able to an interpret and analyze data at the grassroots level itself so that you don't commit mistakes and disasters because this is all about a disease. So now I would like to conclude here by saying that all the future pharma jobs, biotech jobs and government jobs in cancer research is going to go to CRISPR experts who also specialize in cancer. So if you want to become, if you want to become a cancer researcher, okay, then you have only one way out. Learn CRISPR today, okay. And CRISPR has not just one application. Let me remind you, CRISPR has not just one application. It has got multiple applications. You have uh, in the diagnostics, you have into uh, new molecules discovery, you have into research such as cancer, HIV, so various other things you can use CRISPR, right? So here I have in this video given you all the details about how can you become a CRISPR a cancer researcher. I've also shown you the path and we are also giving you the right uh, information and where exactly the cancer research is happening in India. Okay. Now, if you are more interested in cancer research, please comment below what kind of videos you would like to see about cancer research or ca CRISPR research. And we would love to come back to you with more. So this is all about CRISPR. This is all about cancer research in a very brief and precise manner, which will help you decide whether you want to make a career in cancer. I've shown you data in a graphical manner and shown you how the cancer is increasing and how now cancer research is going to increase with this iPhone moment of cancer research, which we call it as CRISPR, right? So this is the right time, guys, to equip yourself the right technology. Okay. So this is all about the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.